Soini, because of course, wins order against DNS Resolver Quad 9, paving the way for more DNS level censorship. A growing frontier of censorship. Yeah, so guys, start memorizing the IP addresses of the sites you use because they're going to censor at the domain name server level. For those of you who don't know it, the domain name servers are basically the part of the internet backbone that maps IP addresses to host names. When your computer connects to a, to a website, it's actually connecting to its IP address. But it's this do, it's the domain name server that maps what you put in the address bar to an IP address. So they're gonna start censoring there. Like if you like, say if Google got blocked, I'd try to type in Google.com and it would return a page not found error or something. But if you know the IP address, though, you'll be able to get there. Yeah, DNS Resolver Quad 9 has lost its first appeal against an order filed by Soini to block a pirate site. The DNS Resolver plans to appeal, warning that if the ruling is not challenged, several internet services would be put at risk as it means censorship at the DNS level would become normalized. So start remembering IP addresses. It means that instead of only going after those who are posting the offending content, infrastructure providers are now a target. They you see they've been doing this for a while. Like they we've already had censorship at the ISP level. Now it's moving to the DNS level. Earlier this year, the leading internet service providers in uh, Nazi Germany agreed to voluntarily block pirate sites in the deal with copyright holders, including Soini. Now, this is the MPA and RIAA at work here. Now, it's Soini Music that were the ones that were responsible for this, not PlayStation for once. So th this has the fingerprints of the RIAA all over it. The true mafia that's the biggest threat to the internet. Oh, the ISPs implemented a blocking at the DNS level because they all have their own DNS resolvers. Here's what's fun, though. You don't have to use your ISP's DNS. Uh, you could use Google's, for example. I think Google's is, uh, no, its IP address is 8.8.8.8. If I And 4.4.4.4 as well, I think. But you could also host your own. You could host your own domain name server, and as long as you uh, direct your browser to it, you could literally map whatever IP address to whatever host name you want. It's pretty cool, actually. Now, DNS resolvers help circumvent such blockades. Instead of using the ISP's DNS resolvers, the users switch to alternatives such as Quad9, OpenDNS, Cloudflare, and Google. A few weeks after the deal with German ISP, Soiny Music, of course. Uh, obtaining an injunction requiring Quad9 to block a popular music piracy site. The court documents do not name the piracy site, but Torn Freak deduced it to be Canada.to. Now you guys know where to go, huh? After the blocking order, Quad9 appealed. The organization explained it does not support piracy, but fears an order is an overreach, considering it uh, does not directly provide pirated content. A regional court in Hamburg upheld the order. So the RIAA must have spent a lot of money but the organization claims it will not give up and will appeal the order at a higher court. We're disappointed that this first set of hearings ended in what we think is an outcome that is not consistent with the legislative intentions of the, of the Nazi government, Quad's uh, general manager, John Todd, said. There are a large number of internet-based services which we think ultimately are put at risk, at serious risk by this ruling, and we will not stop our legal challenges on this injunction. Todd explained that this case is not simply about his organization, but about defending the rights of internet users and other service providers that might be impacted by the order. Yeah, this uh, this is the final frontier of censorship right here, man. It's going to get pretty bad. We will continue to pursue legal fight uh, against what we think is an outcome that threatens the very core of the internet's ability to be a useful and trusted tool for everyone. Corporations should not have the ability to directly demand the network infrastructure operators censor sites, Todd said. And this is where the sneakiness of the U.S. government really comes in. I actually have some respect for how the Chinese government handles things, because when China censors something, they lay down a government mandate. Like Their government flat out says, we don't want you doing this anymore. You're not allowed to do this anymore. When the U.S. government wants to censor something... They pull the, the strings in the big tech companies and social media and get them to do it. Like right now, 
the U.S. government wants to control the Internet, but it would be a bad look if they did. So they're just using puppet organizations like the RIAA to slowly chip away at the Internet until the government can easily just take the reins.